The Sims 4 base game. No, we're not here to bash it, but rather highlight some of the best objects that it has, and in some cases, these can add a good amount of gameplay. While the base game does feel rather vanilla, it has come a long way since it was first launched in 2014, and note that the objects here are purely based on my opinion, but that if you have any base game objects that you yourself love that aren't in this list, then please feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Also, because I want you to ideally come away from this learning something new, I'm going to avoid mentioning some objects which are amazing if they're simply too obvious, such as the workbench. But by all means, you walk away from this and you start working that workbench. As always, I'll highlight five standout objects and five lesser known objects that you may be overlooking. Let's get started. First up is a standout being the digitalistic sketchpad. Now you're most certainly familiar with the easel, but the sketchpad is just as important to know about. It's essentially an electronic painting device and you can create all the same paintings on it as an easel. Only while you can't create landscape paintings, you can create illustrative paintings which have rather gorgeous black and white designs. And while you can paint from reference from both the easel and the digitalistic sketchpad, Choosing what you paint when selecting this is dependent on where your sim is standing. The digitalistic sketchpad sits in your inventory and is much more portable and gives much more flexibility when getting that paint from reference shot that you want. In addition, you can use the digitalistic sketchpad in the electrified arts freelance career, which is kind of like becoming a graphic designer. Overall, it's a great object that can just take your painting to the next level. Next up is an overlooked object and it's the cow plant. The main reason this one can go unnoticed is because you can't buy it. Rather, you have to find and grow a cow plant berry. There are a few ways to get this, such as randomly by fishing or digging for treasure. You can also get it through gardening by cutting and grafting a snapdragon with a dragon fruit plant. They can also be obtained through opening rare seed packets, which you can buy at level 10 gardening, which is probably the easiest way if you have the level. Plant this and before long, you'll have a cute cow plant in your backyard. You can play with the cow plant and it'll need to be fed around every 12 hours as well. When it needs to be fed, it'll stick out its tongue with a cake. And if a sim tries to take this, they'll be eaten. Be eaten once and you'll be spat out with a negative moodlet. If the cow plant eats you again with the moodlet still active, then your sim will be devoured. Whether a cow plant spits out or devours a sim, they'll be able to be milked afterwards. If they were spat out, then milking them will provide an essence in which drinking gives a strong moodlet of whatever the sim they nibbled on was feeling at the time. If a sim is killed, then you can milk the cow plant for the essence of life, which drinking will add a bit of time onto your sim's lifespan. Overall, it's great for gameplay and adding that extra bit of drama into your game. Moving on now to a standout being the birthday hot tub or spa, which was added to the base game to celebrate the 20th anniversary of The Sims. Firstly, having this means you probably don't need to buy perfect patio stuff as the draw card of the pack is hot tubs, but also this is just generally a great object to add to a lot of settings, such as an outdoor pool area, and also really ramp up the romance in your game. Of course, it's a woohoo location too, which we are always here for. It's time to talk about a literal rubbish bin now, being the Nano Can Touchless Trash Can. This bin completely gobbles up and breaks down your trash, meaning you'll never have to take out the trash to the larger bin again. While this bin is rather spency at 1,200 simoleons, it also gives you back money when your sims dispose of trash into it. And we do love a bin that will pay itself back over time. Overall, it's just an awesome and unsuspecting object that makes your gameplay a little bit easier. Get ready to blast off with a standout, being the rocket ship. Now I won't lie to you, I am shook that we had rocket ships before we had pools and toddlers in the base game, like would love to have been in that priorities meeting at Sims HQ. That being said, the Sims team did get there in the end and I do love me a rocket ship. Of course, this ties in with the rocket science skill and Sims can place and build the ship before completing text-based missions. Ships can be upgraded to be safer and if a sim has level 8 mischief then they can sabotage rocket ships as well and cause a crash landing which can be great for storytelling. If you have the get to work expansion pack then you can also upgrade the ship at level 10 rocket science with the wormhole generator which will allow you to travel to the alien homeworld of 6am where you can mingle with aliens and find more rare collectibles. 
Rocket ships are also a woohoo location. Don't ask me how that works, but I am here for it. Next up is an object you're likely overlooking, being the Magic Plant Sim Stump. Now, if you place this in your backyard, you won't be able to do much at first. But at level 10 gardening, you can buy rare plant packets. And if you open them, you have a chance of getting magic beans. Buy and open these until you have all six different types, which I will warn can be expensive. And then you can place them onto the stump. Once they're in position, then have your sim water the stump and it'll transform into a grand and magical looking tree. What's more is that you can venture inside and explore this tree, where your sim will emerge with a forbidden fruit of the plant sim. Note that the tree will close off and only periodically reopen, allowing you to explore it again, so it can help to plant this fruit so that it produces more forbidden fruit of the plant sim. If your sim eats the forbidden fruit, then they themselves will turn into a plant sim for five days. They'll need lots of sunlight and they can even absorb solar energy from plants to fill their hunger. While it's not a permanent state, you can eat the fruit repeatedly if you want to make it a bit more like one. So this one stump really opens up a lot of gameplay. Turn on your flash because cameras are the standout object up next. Now originally, these were part of the Get to Work expansion pack before they thankfully made them base game. Cameras are a lot of fun and as you would really expect, they allow you to take photos. Whether you want to make this the center of your gameplay as an impromptu photographer or just take a few snaps of your sims to hang around the house, it's an object that can be used in almost every situation no matter what type of household you're playing and one that I find quite fun to use too. We're back to an overlooked object for number 8 being the Let There Be Light laser show. Now yes, this is a little obscure, but when turned on, this will emit a rather elaborate light show. Now if you have other expansion packs with party themed objects, such as the Get Together expansion pack, then this is probably less amazing. But in the base game, it's one of the few objects that screens party and can bring a groovier dance setting to life. It's just good to know it exists because at first glance in build and buy mode the object looks rather uninspiring. Kind of like me waking up on a Monday. On to the final standout being the Cupcake Factory. Now my one issue with this is that it's 9 tiles big, which is about 8 too many. You know, it can be a big ask to dedicate a room to an object that makes sweets. But nonetheless, you can use this factory to create very cute looking cupcakes which I find can really add to a birthday or general party setting. If your cupcakes come out excellent quality, then you can sell them too, meaning it can allow a hobby-based career where you make cupcakes for a living. And I am so here for that cupcake making life. If you have the Get to Work expansion pack, then this object also ties in with new recipes from the baking skill and there's a whole range of added sweets that can be made on the machine. So just something to keep in mind too. And now it's time for the final object, being one that I think has very little awareness, and it's the chest boxes. There's one called Ornate Beauty and another called Buyers Beware. What's exciting about these is that you can actually store some objects in them. Well, it's exciting for me and clearly I am easily excited. But for example, if you've got a whole heap of plants as a gardener, you can drop all your plants into a box for storage to free up some space in your inventory. Or if, like me, you can find the amount of books in a bookshelf a little overwhelming, then you can buy the books you want, pop them into a box, and then get rid of your bookshelf. While the type of objects you can store in the boxes are somewhat limited, I still find it great in a wide range of situations just to organize my sims life. And by organize my sims life, I mean make their inventories less messy. And we're at the end. That's 10 base game objects that you need to be aware of. If you have any favorites of your own, then please feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed or found that helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it. And have an amazing day. See you later.